Welcome back, everybody, to your first, second, and now your third daily stimulus check update. The relief package, the CARES package, the EIDL programs, PPP 2.0, executive orders. We talk it all here on this channel. It is the 9th of February. Happy Tuesday, everybody. The new bill has been released. Text is in our hands, and you're going to want to catch all the details right here on what's included. Come on and get your news. Welcome back, everybody. I am Edward Builder. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers for joining me for another video today. And if you're joining us for the first time, welcome, welcome. Uh, find out what's in that new bill. Everybody's talking about the new bill. We're going to talk what's included, talk timeline, and figure out what it means for EIDL, PPP, and unemployment. Don't forget to do your part. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Help the YouTube algorithm move this message to all of my viewers out there so that we could keep bringing you guys fantastic giveaways. Because if this video right here hits 10,000 views, I'm going to pick a lucky subscriber's comment from down below to send out a $100 stimulus check to. I hit my next 10,000 subscriber, I'm going to send out another $500 stimulus check. Just sent one out last Friday. Very excited moment for us here on the channel. Uh, we can't wait to do it again. Join the 800 others tracking PPP, EIDL, play-by-play, -play, and date. Let's get straight into the details. All right, let's talk about what's right written in the text as it sits today. And I say as it sits today because this still has to go through markup and go through all of the various committees. Nancy Pelosi announced that this has to practically go through every single committee that's out there. Um, so this could change, but as it is written today, we are looking at $1,400 stimulus checks, $75,000 for single filers, $150,000 filing joint, and this will drop off a complete ledge at $100,000 filing single, $200,000 filing joint. Now, there was no talk about the $600 retro for the adult dependents that came from the previous round of stimulus checks. And this does eliminate Yellen's request to have it at 60 k 120 filing joint. And, of course, the Republicans who wanted it at 50 k $100,000 filing joint. Right now, the way it sits... 75, 150, and it seems like this will stick. Now, how will they determine this? This will be based off of your 2019 or your 2020 taxes. Now, if you made more money in 2020, you may want to wait to file your 2020 taxes. If you made more money in 2019, you may want to get out there and file your 2020s pretty quickly. Now, you can claim this in 2021. I'm not sure why you'd want to wait that long as a tax credit. Uh, but you can claim it in 2021 if your 2020 taxes did, did decline here. All right, let's get over to unemployment. Unemployment. Now, this is interesting, okay, because there's two stages of unemployment that we're hearing about right now. Unemployment will go at $400 weekly. Now, we're currently sitting at the end of March where unemployment will end for state benefits. The state benefits will extend to the end of August. Why the end of August? We're not exactly sure, but the federal boost will will sit at $400 from March until September 30th. We'll have more to follow on that to see if that changes. They may just align them to make it cleaner so that they both align until September 30th. We'll, we'll, we'll find out those details soon. Now, the biggest shocker in this stimulus package is that the $15 minimum wage increase has been included. That is the biggest surprise we're seeing yet because over the weekend, President Biden himself announced that he has no chance in having this included in this this reconciliation bill. It just doesn't fit as part of this process. And so, you know, while he while he suggested he would have a create a standalone bill to go after this, he basically declared he was backing off, completely backing off the fifteen dollar minimum wage increase. Now this also is coupled with what the Congressional Budget Committee declared as what could be a, a huge disaster. Now let me explain. They're declaring that the math doesn't necessarily add up. If you take the if you take the seven dollars we're currently sits today and you more than double it to fifteen dollars, while yes, you would bring one million uh, people above the poverty line, you would actually create one point four million people that could potentially go unemployed because businesses just would not be able to take a hundred a hundred percent increase on the minimum wage. This, this stands to be a big shocker. So I have a feeling that they included the $15 minimum wage as part of a, a bargaining chip, right? They don't necessarily want to bargain on the unemployment or the caps on, on the stimulus checks or the amount of stimulus checks or even schools, state and local budgeting. 
we'll we'll follow this a little bit more closely. But now remember, we are still in markup stage, so a lot could change between now and the end of this week. So stay tuned to the channel. We'll bring you guys your daily updates on this. Now, this was also pretty interesting. It included a seven thousand dollar retro uh, for funeral expenses should you have passed away due to due to the virus out there, right? So if you if you found yourself uh, having to bury a family member due to the virus, uh, you could claim up to seven thousand dollars in retroactive retroactive to help with those funeral costs. Now, of course, you can also swing by the description and get that life insurance in as quickly as five minutes. You could Apple Pay or Android Pay. It is so super and easy to do. Just fill out a bunch of questions, do it in less than five minutes, and you'll have life insurance. Pretty awesome stuff. All right, let's talk about what else is included in the bill. Now, schools will receive $130 billion, K through 12. Universities will receive $40 billion, $39 billion for child care providers. And this is some interesting tax credits. Uh, so $3,600, if you have children under the age of six, $3,600 per child tax credit, replacing the $2,000 as it currently sits. And if you are six through 17, $3,000 per child. Now, on the child care side, there's also a new child care and dependent tax credit. Uh, up to $4,000 if you have one child, uh, two or more children, you would receive up to $8,000. Now you have to be, you have to spend uh, four, you have to spend $8,000 in order to be eligible for the $4,000 throughout the year because this is at 50% capped, and uh, $16,000 to receive that $8,000. Now, if this will phase out at $400,000 of family income. So pretty much like 99% of everybody would receive this, this uh, eligibility for this tax credit for child care and dependent tax credit. Now, when? When is the question? February 22nd is when all of the committees will conclude the markup. Remember, we're still in markup. So even though the text came out, this has to go through a number of committees. Practically all of them it was announced by Nancy Pelosi that it practically has to go through nearly every committee out there all of them, but nearly all of them, uh, for markup. And then it also has to go through like a, re a week-long review with the tech uh, tech teams to make sure that there is no conflicting language and that the budget makes sense, that the math all adds up. Nancy Pelosi is optimistic in getting this done before the next deadlines, before the next expiration of unemployment, which is mid-March, right? So she's anticipating that they'll have this markup done on February 22nd, and it'll be through tech, and they'll be ready to take it to the House for the first vote. So let's hope Nancy's optimism is right on the money. Just on Friday, she declared she wanted to get stimulus checks in the hands of the American people by the end of March. So I think that's a pretty aggressive timeline considering the $600 that was you know, divvied out in December has yet to reach some of the American people. Crazy disaster, I know. Now, don't forget to, uh, I reminded everybody on the previous video to not throw away all of your mail, believing it's all junk mail. Uh, because there are stimulus checks going out in the form of debit cards that you would not necessarily recognize. It's a preloaded debit card. So if you do happen to get a stimulus check or some kind of strange looking debit card, uh, do, do yourself the diligence, call the number on the back and see if it's loaded with $600. Uh, that would be your stimulus check. So make sure you check your junk mail. If you do happen to get one of those $600 checks, swing by the description, check out Weeble and Robinhood. By depositing $100 with Weeble, they'll give you up to four free stocks valued at about $1,800 each stock for the two uh, two uh, stocks after the $100 deposit. And M1 Finance, just for depositing $100, wants to give you a $30 sign-on bonus. Pretty awesome stuff. Now, I will have a full PPP and EIDL update later today. So all of my loyal subscribers, check back later, and we'll have your full PPP and EIDL coming up real soon. Thank you all for joining me for another video. Remember to do your part, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Help the YouTube algorithm move this message to others so that we can continue to bring all of our subscribers great giveaways. I thank you again for joining me, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye for now.